Hello, darling. Do you have the time, please? It's Beer Monster O'Clock. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hope you're all doing great. Uh, welcome to my channel, the Beer Monster Reviews. Got a review for your lager. Very cheap lager. I picked it up from Tesco. It's for £1.05. pence, And that's pretty cheap for a 500ml bottle. It's a French lager. Uh, as I say, very cheap, 2.75 units, 5.5% uh, ABV. So that's quite a strong one for such a cheap price, isn't it? So I uh, thought I'd uh, try and find a little hidden gem, hopefully, if you just want a cheap beer. Everyone's skint in a minute. So uh, yeah, 5.5% ABV. It's a lot of ABV bang for your buck for one pound five p And that's near enough a pint. So yeah, let's give it a go. That's, <coughs> that's what I thought anyway. It is brewed in France. Uh, there's a close up of the bottle for you. I'm going to try and pronounce it in a minute. I'm sort of building myself up to it because I'm not the best at pronouncing all these uh, fancy foreign beers. Well, this one's not very really fancy. It's a cheap one, but, you know, fancy names anyway. All right, uh, let's have a go. I think it's uh, Champignoles Cham or something like that. I had a go, didn't I? Something like that. If you're French and I've just offended you, I'm very sorry. Suck me there. Anyways... <coughs> Let's get it open, shall we? See what it's like. See if it's worth a quid. I'm gonna have to stick this one in the glass, I think, because I'm not, I'm not getting much. I've also got a bit of a cold, which uh, my stepdaughter kindly gave me. So uh, yeah, it might be quite hard for me to get much aroma. Anyway, let's get it in this lovely glass. Lovely Lefe Blonde glass. There we go. Your typical uh, golden uh, colour, light golden lager. Okay, there's a bit of a close up for you. It's, uh, I'd say, highly carbonated with uh, fast moving bubbles. Looks like your typical lager. There we go. Let's try and smell now. Nah. Lemon. Like a biscuity malt. That's about it. But uh, as you guys know, lagers are not the best for uh, aromas, are they? Let's have a little look at beer. Um, you can see that carbonation rushing up there. Anyway, cheers, guys. Let's see what it's like. Uh, it's cheap. And it does taste quite cheap, to be fair. Got to be honest. It's got that kind of slight metallic -y, uh, taste to it that you get with a lot of the cheap beers. I'm not normally a fan of uh, much things French either. It's quite refreshing. It's wet. It's drinkable. There's really not an awful lot of flavour going on. It's okay. It's not horrible. It's just a cheap lager. You know, it's really not that bad, but it's not good. <laughs> uh, you could probably get quite smashed on this for a relatively cheap 5.5%. Quid a bottle, just over a quid a bottle. I'm getting the caramel, very slight hint of caramel malts. It is a, a bit hoppy on the end. Uh, it's not all that bitter. It's just a slight, slight sort of hoppy bit in this. You can tell that this has been made cheaply though. You can, you can 100% tell. I've had far worse though. I mean, a lot of times you do get what you pay for, didn't you? One thing I will give it, 5.5%, uh, doesn't taste like a lot, but it doesn't taste 5.5%, it doesn't taste alcoholy or nothing like that. It really is quite easy drinking. Uh, I'm definitely going to drink it, you know what I mean? It's, it's not a sink job or nothing like that. Uh, I don't know if I'd really recommend it. 
in fact, if you're on a really tight budget and you fancy trying a new beer, new lager, why not pick it up for a pound? You might like it more than what I do. I'm just not getting much taste out of it, much aroma. It's just a bit cheap, bland, nothing really going on. But at the same time, if you just fancy a beer, you know, a lot of lagers are like that, and they it uh, does the job. You've been uh, outside sweating your bollocks off or whatever. It's fancy saying wet and refreshing. It'll still do that job for me. Uh, as far as Mark out of 10 goes, of course, I'm only going to compare it to other lagers. And of course, I've got, a, this is very cheap, one pound five, 500 ml bottle. I've got to take that into a can. Uh, let's go again. Just don't really taste like anything. And like I say, it's a bit metallic -y. A score out of 10 for me, although it's cheap, I'm gonna give it a six. And a lot of that's probably because it is cheap. You know, if it's the same price as like your sort of uh, regular macro beers, you know, your Stellas and stuff like that, probably would've got like a four or a five, if I'm being honest. But for the price, I reckon six is fair. It's still wet, it still does a job. It's not any worse than, you know, a lot of the other lagers that don't really taste like anything. Uh, yeah, so for me, it's a six out of 10. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye-bye, darling. See you on the next one.